Hello, welcome back at Peter Place. We are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching, for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for subscribing. That will really help to make this channel grow and make it worth my while to make these videos. I am in Rito Village, which is right there on the map. So I uncovered most of the map. There is only like this side. One, two, three, four parts of the map still to be uncovered. Everything else of Hyrule at least I've got. So uh, let's see. All right, the singing practice is still a thing that will probably yield a shrine at some point. I'm going to try and find out what I need to find out in Rido Village. Ah, so I probably need to be here. No, I don't. So let's walk all the way up and see if I pass the point of interest, uh, which which was here for some reason. All right, so that doesn't work. So let's go all the way back up. Rito Village looks different from Breath of the Wild. I already found a store here that I could... Oh, and here's like... That's the same spot that I can still use to pray. Okay. Or would it be higher up? Would it be all the way at the top of Rito Village? Might also be. So it could be here. No, I checked that. That was the cooking pot. So let's look up. Yep. There is a, a rock on top of this thing. So I should probably go, way, go all the way up instead of all the way down. You gotta love the music here. So is this where the village elder sits or or is that where I need to go? That's where I need to go. All right. Oh, cutscene, cutscene. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Young Rita Warrior. I don't know who you are. I don't know. I know you. Mm. They told me you were missing. Well, no, I'm not. Deba, new Rito Elder. Oh, you are the Rito Elder, so that they're really... All right. Huh. All right. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hatchling all the time. All right. <laughs> the voice acting is brilliant. Uh, you'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. Okay. You, you can all keep wasting your time treating the song of the storm and dark like it's real, but not me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so off she flies. Mm. Oh, it's him, not her. Okay, Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard and he's having a hard trouble hearing. No, he mentioned a song. Ah. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village, all right? Long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was safe thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Mm. It's a song for children, mind you. A few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, even now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. I've seen flying ships in the shrine, my friend. Combine that with the blizzards caused by this upheaval and it seems less far-fetched. Mm -hmm. Even the song of Storm and Ark is just a... Even if the song of Storm and Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there's something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. All right. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we can cling to that song out of cowardice. Okay. Huh. 
But these are real matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Uh, I will say yes. <laughs> so Zelda's missing. Need to find Zelda. What? That's terrible news. So not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow. Hmm. Rurito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. Ordinarily, but this abnormal wizard shows no sign of stopping. And food has grown scarce. Everyone I, I could spare is already out researching the blizzards or scavenging for food. Mm. Okay. And he's village elder. Okay. Give me all your riches. You could talk hearth. All right. Yup. I can see the bonfires. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we need to stop the blizzard. That will clear a part of the sky. Okay. So the bonfire is over there, huh? All right. So am I am I all the way up as high as I can go in this village? Yes, I am. That is sad, though, because I'm not going to make it to that bonfire from here. I might, actually. Let's not be too pessimistic here, because I went in a little arc, but still, I'm kind of making it. Ah, uh, why do there always have to be ice wizards and stuff in my way? And I actually have lots of stamina wheel to spare so I can make a little climby climb. Nice. So there we go. And we found a new a new thing there. There's ice that you can break. So that's also something I should remember in relation to that sky island I was on. There was an ice pond there as well. So let's let's check something about those bonfires. Like how is the temperature around these things? Yeah, that's going up significantly. Um, so is this hearth? That works as a landmark. Oh. Yup. All right. Okay. So there's lots of people here. What is that stuff? I'll take it off your hands. Uh-huh. Mm. All right. Perfect. <laughs> and thank you, 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 thank you. Took all your stuff. Now let's go inside. You stay out in the cold. I'll be here in the warmth. Climbing your wall and stuff. Nah. All right, so sorry. Gonna take your spicy peppers. This is hearth, right? Oh. Yeah, Link, you're all right. You've got some cool hair, my friend. I worried after I heard that you had gone. Look at your hair. Um, I worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Just your usual. Oh. Zelda got me into trouble and stuff. Ah, uh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell that I haven't heard anything oh. about her. Our feathers are full dealing with more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of the terrible mm. blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, but I wish I could do more oh. for you. But now that I think of it, here's all my riches. Maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. His winged gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. Mm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gizane and Lysa on a trip to find food. Which is where? I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. Okay. 
The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Okay. Uh. Let. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be in your way. Okay. Cool. Oh! I took it all, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. So first of all, inventory. Let's take a look, see. Um, I have how many? Like I've got two of these, twenty-nine of these. I've got. Do I have like okay, two star fragments? Uh, do I have some topaz? I thought I had topaz somewhere. Apparently, I don't. I don't even have a sapphire. I thought I had a sapphire. Did I sell it? Oh, there's sapphire. Okay. But no topaz, huh? And 10 luminous stone. All right. So before I do anything else, let's actually go back to Rito Village. See, the shrine here is pretty good. Uh, because I want to go take a look, see in their store, maybe sell some stuff and buy that cold gear. <laughs> because there is an internal blizzard going on so that does not bode well for the temperature right all right so how do i get i thought i climbed this That's an unusual way to enter the village, but uh, who cares? Hello. So, can I see what it costs, actually? 650, that's a lot. 500. Snow quill trousers, a thousand rupees. So, let's go into my inventory, check. What do I have here? Archaic warm greaves, that's something else. Okay. Alright, so let's... All right. All right. Oh. I'm here to sell. Yeah. So luminous stone sells for 20 rupees each. That's not a lot. This sells for 150 rupees each. That's also not a lot. So let's go all the way back. So um, that sells for more. 30 rupees? Okay. How about food? Because you people are out of food. Okay, food doesn't sell for that much. Alright, so I'll sell one of these. Alright. Then... Only 80. I, I knew I had Topaz. Okay. So Sapphire is a lot more. So I'll sell one of these. And then... Didn't I have a Ruby somewhere? Alright, I'll sell one of these as well. Uh, then... I've got six of these, so I'll sell three. So luminous stone, what do I have luminous stone wise? 
So I thought that would sell for 70 like in Breath of the Wild, but it doesn't. All right, so let's see. Hi. Oh. All right. So that's 500. That's 650. Okay. Alright, so this is a thousand, right? So I don't, well, I have trousers, so I can, I can get this now. <laughs> alright, so now I need, alright, so now I need to come back for the trousers at some point, but then uh, for now I'm set. So for now I'll uh, go into my uh, inventory and wear this and that. So it's a shame that the the trousers don't combine, but anyway. So I'll go all the way up Burrito Village again. So I used to be here, I think. So the sad part is, I don't see the bonfires of the first campment anymore. I'm in the wrong terrace, that's also possible. Oh yeah, it was here apparently, okay. Still, I'm not seeing the bonfires for, for, for the hut. So, so let's actually get a look-see at that. The hut is either here or here. Uh, wait. Ebra Trailhead Lodge. All right. And I am where? Looking out from the entirely wrong point of view. That's why I'm not seeing it. All right. But there's a Korok seed there. I know it's there, so I'm going to leave it for now. So where is that lodge? It's off to my right. So did I jump from here? Yes, okay. Wow. Uh, completely disoriented, but that's fine, I guess. There's a shrine up there, okay. There used to be an ice wizard there previously. Is it still there? Yes. So if I can just go round. But if you look at the temperature gauge, like, I'm pretty good when it comes to temperature. At least cold. Would I help that dude? And and I might. So let's let's go for alt. Oh, wrong button. Hold ultra hand. I can't attach it? Uh, 
All right, never mind then. Uh, then it can just stay there. Uh, where's the lodge at? There's the lodge at, and then we've got the cliff up there. So why is this still? Um, so can I actually go into my adventure log? South, Hebra South Summit Cave. Its entrance is marked with another bonfire. So what does this say? Hebra South Summit. All right, so somewhere there I should find a cave. Cool. And there should be another bonfire there to mark it. Okay. Oh, I might be in luck. There's a bonfire here, huh? Ah, and then it moves. I'm actually pretty low on arrows. Let's get my distance here for a while. Uh oh. All right. Is that Choo Choo's jelly still there? Yep. stuff in their cam that I can use. I take it I have to continue up the path, but... There is a flagpole there. What was that? Wooden stick. Okay. Ah, 
huge cave entrance. This is who? Alright. Not Chisain, who whoever it was. Oh. Alright. Ah. Right, so how did they get into the cave if this is all here? Luckily I know how to deal with this. Luckily I know how to deal with this. So wait a sec. So if I just put this in here. I could have used a torch for this one. Let's be careful here. Perfect. Or let's actually try something. That doesn't work. So it has to be fire. Okay, we know that. <laughs> okay. So there's an ice pit that you can fall through. This leads you to nowhere. <laughs> All right, so where am I at here? <laughs> so I just came through here. I can still go here. There is luminous stone to... Oh. Maybe the other way around. Oh. I saw you. So what did you drop, huh? And where did you drop it? Okay, so where, where did you drop it? Because I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing where your weapon dropped.
Where do I need to go from here? Probably up. Where is my flint? Oh, there we go. Um. So I have a fire here, but not, not big enough. So there's a, a ledge right there. Um, I'm not able to climb that, I think. So... Can I ascend that somewhere? What's the other way I could have gone? Oh, wrong button again. Alright, so am I am I capable of climbing that? Dude, 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 get Alright, so let's stamina refill. And then let's try and see if I can climb this. I, I'm trying to find the place where I can stay like this okay I was virtually there so I'm counting on the fact that there's a ledge above here looking at this there is yeah there's even a hole uh like a, a tunnel okay okay ah but there's also a tunnel there it would seem okay Alright, so I'm not even sure if this is the tunnel I need to take. Huck. 
There's a fire there, okay. Ah! I found someone else. Mm. Ah, she's saying here. What are we doing to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected mm. behind. Oh. Well, B, what a Highland doing all the way up here. In, okay. Uh, I'm looking for, uh, mm. what's his name? Tolan. Okay. You just missed him. Our task is to scavenge for food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others he should return right away to report them, but Tolan clearly wasn't listening at all. He said I'm gonna follow them back to their nest and flew off. Okay. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Tolono Peak. Okay. Wonderful. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking on his chances. Okay. So I got two more fishies. This is proving to be quite the quest, eh? I can see snow coming in, so this is whole. Okay. Hello. So if you follow the cave to the north, you'll see a lone cedar tree. That would be the north. Ah, that would be the tree. Okay. So ice fruit, oh, monsters. Let's try and not alarm them right now, because I have other things to do. Oh, let's go. peaks that I can ascend into. Okay. Let's follow this path. Right there. So the lone cedar tree is there. Okay. Ow. Alright, I should have remembered that I'm not unfreezable. I saw a bonfire. All right. Ah, there we've got Tulin. So what was that? Before I do anything else, uh, I'm low on hearts. I thought I had a truffle off some side. Okay, apples it is. But I got lots of fishes, don't I? I took some fishes in. Five of them. Okay, not that many fishes, and then complement with apples. Let's not. Stupid monsters. Where did I come from? From everywhere. I am omnipresent. What happened? Oh, ah, you see? That rotten monster took my good bow. Okay. Huh. See? That's the bow napper. Alright, so I'll take it out of the sky. Fine. Uh. I gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Uh. Really? Thanks. Yeah. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? No. Well, yeah, they told me. I'll do it for you too. That way you can glide over there where that monster went. Okay, just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. 
Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used to burst. Okay. Uh, where's the monster at? Right there. Where's the monster at? Oh, wait a sec. Let's let's do that because we're in icy material, right? So let's wait until you circle back. Oh, you're not going there. All right, so. What? Oh. I are you big time link? All right. Uh oh. Let's go get them to yeah yeah you do most of it. Oh, let go. So you How did he get that bo that blow in, huh? <laughs> yeah. So what is happening? Oh? Boy! Huh. So who is calling? Oh yeah, fighting stone. Oh. Now the air force comes in. Oh. All right. Hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we work as a flock. Yeah, <laughs> a flock. Because I'm an owl and stuff. Yeah. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. Okay. She zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. How can that be? Uh -huh. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah. All right. So let's go up into the cloud then. Uh. From the side, so then the only way is through the top. Except for one. I'm talking about you, Tulin. You create gusts at will. Alright. Cool. Uh -huh. You're all that, Eva. That said that. Oh. 
Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright. We're counting on you. Fine, 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 fine. Leave it to me. Ah, but um What else can I find here, huh? I can't! How sad! So, uh, into my inventory we go. Wait a second, these are crates. No, Tolan, Tolan, stay out. Yeah, that's what I need. Ah, the construct bow is dropped. Okay. Beneath the snow. What else can I find here? That is it. Alright, that is it. So, where is Tolan? Alright. So, um... So, only Tolan can create gusts of wind, huh? So... Hebra Peak. Where is Hebra Peak? Right up there. Alright, so I am here. I'm looking straight at it. I should have done Gust again. All right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So now that I've got a gust of wind, if that is something I can use within a shrine, then maybe I can get back towards that other shrine and make something happen, even though... That's highly unlikely because not only do I need to cover a great distance horizontally, I need to be able to go vertically as well. Hmm. There's a construct there. to go through inventory again uh, all right drop this one oh all right perfect um all right so I need to get up there all right fine
Or do I need to get to the bonfire? That that's also maybe the thing. Anyway, let's uh let's do this. That's a bit weird how this thing was clinging to the mountain, but uh, I'll take it. So clearly I don't need to get to the bonfire because the bonfire is... Uh... Oh. Oh, that's not good. Um... Oh, there's two of them. Even better. Wait a sec, so I'm on the point here, so maybe... Maybe there's a cave. So let's go to the bonfire after all. Which is where from here? Over there. That hardly seems right. <laughs> um, so... A bit lost here, but that's fine, I guess. Is there, is there a Blood Moon coming up? Yeah, there's a Blood Moon coming up. Okay. So then th there's no point in defeating these. So probably I'll have to make it to the top. So let's wait for the blood moon to actually happen. It's not that long anymore because these will respawn anyway. So there's no point in me defeating them now. But now we know where the blood moon actually comes from, right? Hmm. Uh, so maybe let's eat something. And there we go with the blood moon. There's a shooting star there, but I'm not gonna worry, uh, bother with that right now. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Hmm, nice. Which reminds me, when the Demon King was born, that sequence showed a lot of monsters that I'm totally not ready to deal with right now. Ah, by the way, um, inventory. Let's equip my falcon bow, huh? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So let's try and stay clear of these monsters. I can't descend in that. That's that's a shame. Okay. It was worth a try.
So I've now approached this peak from the other side. Which should maybe give me an opportunity to... Oh, there's someone here. If only it were possible to find what's inside that blizzard. Oh. Oh. Alright, but if you come here that means... Yep. They said I could go up there. I knew it. Okay. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Ah. You may be the only reader of Cape using that cloud. Okay. Give it your best shot. I'll be there watch. Okay, obviously you'll be watching. Uh -huh. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. All right, so I need to get your wind gust to jump, jump, jump. And then, okay, there is the cloud. There is the cloud. Okay. So um, let's try and do that next time. For now, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Hitting the bell icon so you don't miss a single update. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.